Coolidge College was established in 18... Who knows this? It was in your freshman facts. 1857. And of the 27,000 Coolidge students, blank 7%, blank 7%, who knows this? 87% live on campus. Over your shoulder is the oldest dormitory on the college campus. It is the H U the hub. The hub, yes. Oh, Ben Wilder lives there. Who Ben Wilder? He's a living legend here at Coolidge, man. Well, yes, Mr. Wilder has been here quite some time. I hear he's hot. He even has a personal assistant to help do all of his dreamy things. Is it true that he threw a party that lasted for three weeks? Actually, it was a month. But that rager raised us over $60,000 for breast cancer research. The Black Caucus made Van an honorary member seven years ago. Incidentally, the African Americans have the biggest caucus on campus. Ah, big caucus! Big caucus! <laughs> big caucus! Oh, excuse me. God. I'm sorry. Oh, Japanese. It's, uh... Hi. Hi. I mean... Konnichiwa. Watashino katanawa katakute nagai desuma. Mitai desu? Yeah? Hmm? What? My tailor's Japanese. I was just saying that I'm throwing this big party on Friday night. Would you like to go? I'm not here to party. Sono katawa, kato shinjiwa. Hmm, shinomono. No matter what happens here this morning, I urge you to do something. Join at least one club on your way out today. You want to know why? Because experience doesn't just enhance life. It is life. Write that down. You, my friend, are a friend, Sarah. Please be so kind as to pinch me. This is a festival of gluttony. I, I feel like a kid in a curry store. Get you acclimated. Three o'clock, you got the lusts. Lesbians until graduation. Oh. Persistence is beautiful. I have much to learn. Me too. Holding down the east wing of the infamously horny honeys from the all-girls school of Mount Holyoke. They are magnificent. Yeah. I wish to, to caress every one of their milk sacks and to knead them as if they were dough. Okay, Todd. Huh? Uh, Let's keep it at half mast, okay? Oh. I don't know if it's the lime jello talking or the way you look in that dress, but I am in love with you, Mr. Van Wilder. Know that. Not snort the jello shots in the mouth, right? And you're presumptuous enough to believe that because you sponsored one of their parties, that their whole stigma will be shattered? Never gonna mess with her again. Drama queen, seventeen, sleep. Ben. Ben. Find him, man. You need some sleep. Your last final's at 8 o'clock in the morning. Oh, God, I am out of gas. I can't do it. My head doesn't have to explode. You're almost home. Don't worry, Hey, McDougal's got it in for me, I know. Let me tell you something. Worrying is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it doesn't get you anywhere. I wrote it down. You're ready for whatever McDougal's got.
家。Grown hair to me, Wilder. And these are my tweezers. Richard, what happened to the rectal itch analogy? I would really like that one better. Shut up. Hold. <laughs> <laughs> you stole my girl! My shot at Northwestern! <laughs> oh, my sanity. But now it's my turn to win, Wilder. You hear me? I'll win, and you will lose! <laughs> Ben don't lose my pigmentally retarded brother. He's a chickadee. Hey everybody, it's LeRon Washington and the starting five. Gentlemen, don't oh, gentlemen need you lead the secret handshake to turn you trick ass grub. So oh, man, don't you got a test to take? Yes I do. <laughs> yes I do. Oh, you can right now. Dr. Joyce Brothers, and we're sitting with Van Wilder, the world's oldest living college student. Van, you are going to go down in history as the greatest party thrower that Coolidge College has ever known. But as the late, great Professor McDougall once said, apathy is the glove into which evil slips its hand, and your apathy caused you to lose someone very special. You mean Gwen? That's right, dog. And what a tasty piece of lamb she was with that beautiful mug and that great rack. And because you didn't get your act together, she had no choice but to marry Dr. Fudge Fingers. Wait a second. Dr. Brothers, how old am I? Then you're 95. And I'm still in college? Oh, my God. And what's that smell? I know that odor. It's rancid yet savory, not unlike. Okay. 